Hi, I'll walk you through the process of creating a form in K2. You can add a form to any page. I'll start by adding a form to the bottom of this page here. So what you would do is you would just navigate to the area where you would like the form to appear, and then you would click on the blue icon with the plus, and that's gonna take you to the content area. And then on the left-hand side, I'm just gonna select forms. you'll see that there's uh, quite a few form templates that you can choose from. So I'll just go ahead and make a selection here. And it's asking you if you want to match the rest of the style of the page. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes. So we'll start by just replacing the background image with our own custom image. So it's just a matter of personalizing the form a bit. You'll notice that this uh, background image is set to black and white, and that was based off of the form template. So I'm going to go ahead and just modify this a bit. Change the opacity on the image, just brighten it up a bit. We'll modify the title. Now I'll show you how to add an additional field. So once you've added the additional field, you would just move it into the proper position. Then you'd click on edit to edit the title of that field. Then you would just click the green save icon. Now we'll need to modify the text for our button. So you would highlight the existing text and then just simply give your button a new title. Now I'll show you how to assign the button an actual action. So you'd click edit and then you'll see an email address field and this is where the form will be sent once a customer fills it out. So you'd want to insert your email address and then type in a thank you message and this is what the client will see after they submit the form. And then you would just click the save icon. I'll show you how to customize the appearance of the button. So we'll go ahead and select the same orange as our other buttons on our page. And then you'll see that you have lots of different style options available where you can make the rollover state a different color. Now I'll click on the blue gear. This is the different layout options for our stripe. So you'll notice that the form is on the right hand side. You can, of course, customize the appearance of it after changing the layout. I think this option looks the best. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with this and we'll have to modify the colors of our fonts again since we did change the style.
Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Make sure to check out the rest of our movie tutorials for additional how-tos.